So I just recently got married and I've been married for about five months now. And people often tell me that communication is the key to any good marriage. And I'm always like, okay, right. Everybody knows that, duh. My wife and I, we communicate fine. Okay, that's true. But these last five months, I've realized that I'm not actually as great at communicating as I thought I was. At times I find that I just want to be heard. I just want to be understood, but I'm absolutely failing at the same time to listen and to understand. Thankfully, my beautiful wife is very patient with me as I learn and grow. But the truth is good communication or dialogue is not easy, even with loved ones. And it's even harder with those whose convictions differ from our own. And I think this is why Pope Francis often invites the church to pray for a flourishing of good and fruitful dialogue. He knows we can all get better at it. He knows we can grow in humility and understanding to see where, where another person is coming from. This month, at the beginning of this new year, January of 2016, Pope Francis specifically invites us to pray for inter-religious dialogue. And this intention is timely, given the current events of our world. The Pope knows that our wounded world can only grow more peaceful if we all get better at communicating humbly with each other, even with those from a different faith tradition. This world will only get more peaceful by dialogue. And so let's pray for that this month. Let's pray with Pope Francis. That sincere dialogue among men and women of different faiths may produce the fruits of peace and justice. Amen. Thank you for praying with us.